The numbers don't lie. Consumers are becoming more open-minded when shopping at the supermarket. From artisan breads to 90s-era cereals, 2023's most popular grocery store items truly run the gamut. You don't need to be a full-time vegetarian or vegan to enjoy abstaining from animal products every so often. According to The Hill, as of 2022, vegetarianism is the most popular it's ever been. Additionally, more households are choosing to go meat and dairy-free on a more casual basis, too, with studies finding that about three-fifths of Americans forego meat temporarily on a regular basis. It's easier to do so now than it used to be, thanks to the wealth of plant-based meat alternatives both in the grocery store and at your favorite fast food chains. So it's no surprise that vegetarian and vegan options prove exceptionally popular at grocery stores this year. Research has found that nearly one-third of American grocery shoppers are actively reducing how much meat they eat, while almost one-fifth are doing the same when it comes to dairy products. A survey from the International Food Information Council further found that one-fifth of Americans eat meat alternatives on a weekly basis, while 22% eat meat alternatives on a daily basis. As the Earth's population grows, so does the need for food production. The sustainability of the world's food system is a far-reaching issue. As the International Monetary Fund pointed out, current food systems produce about a quarter of the world's man-made greenhouse gas emissions, and that number is expected to double by 2050. Luckily, both grocery shoppers and grocers are taking notice. Reports have found that sustainability is a top concern for grocers in 2023, with more than half of shoppers noting a grocery store's sustainability impact when they're choosing where to shop. Additionally, a 2022 survey found that more than half of shoppers are more likely to buy grocery items that advertise a brand's sustainability efforts. In 2022, sustainable food grew into a $2 trillion industry. What's the one thing that ends up in more shopping carts than any other food? Well, when it comes to items delivered by Instacart, that would be bananas. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. In early 2023, Instacart announced that it had passed a monumental milestone, delivering 1 billion bananas total to its customers. Additionally, the brand noted that bananas have remained Instacart's most in-demand grocery item for more than a decade and are included in about 25% of all Instacart orders, though that number differs by state. The state with the highest number of orders including bananas is Iowa. If you're having trouble imagining just how many bananas a billion bananas are, it's apparently enough to form a banana stack that's more than 24,000 times taller than Mount Everest. But even if you don't buy your bananas on Instacart, bananas are still big business. According to Reader's Digest, in 2021, the United States imported $2.8 billion worth of bananas, more than any other country in the world. When it comes to new purchases, experts have found that shoppers crave nostalgia. While your exact brand of nostalgia will differ according to your generation, no one can deny that the 90s are currently back in a big way. Get off of me! Ugh, as if! However, 90s throwback style doesn't stop with fashion. It also extends to food. Throwback foods are extra popular with grocery shoppers at the moment, and it's easier than ever to find childhood favorite snacks in stores. Nostalgic foods that made their way back to store shelves in recent history include General Mills monster-themed cereals like Count Chocula and Frankenberry, Smuckers Uncrustables, Dunkaroos, and a range of snack cakes. However, Winsight Grocery Business noted that today's grocery shoppers aren't always settling for the exact same foods they remember from childhood. Some are demanding upgrades to nostalgic grocery items so that they better align with their adulthood health and nutrition goals. Think lower calorie and organic ice cream sandwiches or probiotic sodas. If there's one item that you can buy in the grocery store that's ultra convenient, it's a rotisserie chicken. I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. Shoppers seem to love rotisserie chickens more than ever now, too. In 2022, Costco sold 117 million of its famed rotisserie chickens, an increase of more than 10 million from the previous year. Why are rotisserie chickens so popular at the moment? As CNN reported, after multiple years of rising grocery prices, rotisserie chickens are one of the only items to consistently stay the same price. However, while Costco's rotisserie chickens may be a hot commodity, you can actually find a cheaper rotisserie chicken if you head to Costco competitor Sam's Club, where the chain sells the cheapest rotisserie chicken on the market. With the sober, curious movement growing and more alcohol consumers stating that they would like to limit their alcohol consumption, more non-alcoholic beverages are finding their way into shoppers' carts. According to Nielsen IQ, between late 2021 and late 2022, non-alcoholic drink sales grew by more than 20%, pushing non-alcoholic beverages into a nearly $400 million industry. The most popular non-alcoholic beverage by far was non-alcoholic beer, followed by non-alcoholic wine, and lastly, non-alcoholic spirits. Altogether, these non-alcoholic beverage sales are minimal compared to overall alcohol sales, but sales continue to grow and have nearly doubled since 2018. 
For grocery shoppers in search of a dinner solution that's both convenient and affordable, instant noodles pulled through during the past year. While there was an initial ramen boom at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the love for ramen continues to grow. In the last part of 2022, Nissin, parent company of ramen brands Cup Noodles and Top Ramen, reported more than a 40% increase in year-over-year -year sales. The maker credited its unique offerings and healthier options for the continued popularity. Overall, the global instant noodle market in 2021 was calculated at $51 billion, with estimates that the market would grow to $81 billion by 2029, according to Fortune Business Insights. It should come as no surprise that breakfast cereals were one of the most popular grocery store items of 2022, and that status is carrying on into 2023. Mintel reported that in 2022, the U.S. cereal industry celebrated double-digit growth, which is expected to continue throughout 2023. More cereal? Despite the continued popularity, though, there is some room for improvement. Mintel's research found that more than half of shoppers would like to buy breakfast cereal that comes in a resealable package. Additionally, nearly half of shoppers indicated they would like the cereal industry to move toward more sustainable packaging. A similar report from Expert Market Research found that more shoppers are looking for organic and natural cereals, and that they're continuing to put health needs first by looking for high-fiber and high-protein cereals. Despite more consumers looking for vegan options this year, plenty of others are still buying that weekly carton of milk during their grocery run. Wait a minute. Where am I? Got milk. Milk is a top-selling grocery item for this year, and as of late 2022, overall dairy sales were up by a fifth, according to the International Dairy Deli Bakery Association. Dairy prices also rose heavily in 2022, with milk prices increasing by over 11%. So why the continued demand despite the increased cost? One International Dairy Deli Bakery Association official told Supermarket News that it all comes down to consumers' love for dairy and how often dairy is used across all meals. Milk and dairy don't come without their challengers, though. Dairy alternatives are expected to become increasingly popular over the next few years. That said, the dairy alternatives market is expected to nearly double in value between 2022 and 2027, thanks to environmental and health concerns, as well as demands from lactose intolerant shoppers. Going hand in hand with the increase in consumer interest in sustainable foods, grass-fed and pasture-raised meat and eggs are also getting more attention. Pasture raising is typically seen as more sustainable than traditional factory farming methods, while pasture-raised meat and eggs are typically viewed as healthier than factory farmed products. Not sure about the difference between pasture-raised and grass-fed? Grass-fed means the animal eats grass or hay its entire life. Pasture-raised means the animal eats grass or hay on an actual pasture for at least 120 days of the year. The growth of pasture raised and grass-fed meat and eggs popularity, though, is nothing new. In 2016, the American Pastured Poultry Producers Association reported that pasture raising was growing in popularity among poultry farmers, if not consumers. By the end of 2020, organic grass-fed meat sales had risen significantly in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, according to Supermarket Perimeter, which noted that demand was outpacing supply at the time. The deli prepared foods category typically includes heat and eat or cold items that you would purchase in a store's ready to eat or deli section. As is the case with so many of the year's most popular grocery store items, these foods have become increasingly popular with shoppers seeking convenience. As such, grocery store refrigerated entree sales have risen by nearly a third since 2021. Today's consumers, though, aren't just looking for a prepped, semi fresh soup, pizza, or side dishes that they can simply heat in the oven or on the stovetop for a quick dinner. Instead, more than half of shoppers specifically want healthier deli-prepared food options. Some are even happy to spend a little extra time prepping their deli-prepared foods, whether that be via stir-frying or with a sous-vide setup. Additionally, it's expected that deli-prepared foods that feature international flavors will perform particularly well in the coming years. There are just a few grocery items that you pick up each and every time you're at the store, like bread. It's no surprise bread is currently a top-selling grocery item. However, in terms of market growth, it's not your plain Jane loaf of white bread that's performed best in 2023. Instead, specialty and healthful breads are taking the spotlight. More bread, please. Reports show that top-performing bread options at the end of last year included ciabatta and focaccia, and that consumers are looking for specific types of bread, including organic, non-GMO, and gluten-free. Additionally, brands are delivering with clean bread options made with minimal, recognizable ingredients, as well as fortified and veggie-packed breads. Bread isn't the only bakery item gaining traction, though. As of January 2023, bakery items such as cookies, croissants, and cakes were all performing positively, with overall sales growth. 
Potato and corn chips are a consistent, most popular grocery choice, but some chips are more popular than others. The Kantar Brand Footprint Report lists the most chosen brands at grocery stores around the world across a range of food items. Among the top most chosen brands for 2023 are two chip brands, Lay's and Doritos. While Lay's can lean on its classic all-American appeal, Doritos stands to further its popularity this year by giving 3D Doritos fans a new flavor, nacho cheese. Otherwise, it seems like the Lay's classic potato chip recall that occurred in May 2023 hardly impacted the brand's popularity. The recall affected several New England states and was issued due to undeclared milk ingredients that could have proved life-threatening for those with milk allergies. Another non-surprise among the most popular grocery items? Soda. It's one of those items that many people grab a couple of cases of whenever a get-together rolls around. In fact, the Kantar Brand Footprint Report, which ranks brands you'll find at grocery stores all over the world by their popularity, lists several soda brands among its top overall grocery store items. The rankings are based on brands' consumer reach point performances and the number of times they are chosen by consumers. In first place, Coca-Cola. Pepsi came in fifth place, while Mountain Dew came in at 18th. Sprite came in at 19th. While these brands remain supremely popular, though, consumers aren't interested in just any old soda. Recent research shows that more people want low or zero calorie carbonated beverages, as consumers are increasingly concerned about the negative ways soda can impact their health. To address this, some brands are now infusing their carbonated beverages with vitamins, prebiotics, or probiotics. Others are focusing less on carbonated beverages like soda and more on healthy beverages like tea. 